Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we demonstrate how to set up and use the IC SL4033 SD Type 1 Sound Level Meter and Data Logger. To start you'll need to install the 6 included AA batteries. For this you'll need a small screwdriver. Unscrew the two screws on the back of the unit to open the battery compartment. Install the batteries observing polarity. Replace the battery compartment door. Then tighten the screws. Press the power key to switch the meter on. On the screen we can see the current frequency weighting, the current sound level, the time weighting and the current range. To choose a frequency weighting, press the AC button. The frequency weighting indicator on the LCD will update instantly. A weighting is characterised as the human ear response. Use this when making environmental sound level measurements. C weighting is characterised as a flat response. This is suitable for example checking the noise level of machinery. Next is range selection. The default range is automatic. This automatically ranges from 30 to 130 decibels. And there are three manual ranges to choose from. Each press of the range button cycles through the options. This is 30 to 80 decibels. This is suitable for the current environment. Next is 50 to 100 decibels. This is displaying no measurements as the recorded sound is under range. And 80 to 130 decibels. Again, this displays no measurements as the recorded sound is under range. Pressing range of final time cycles back to automatic. Next is time weighting adjustment. You can choose between fast and slow. Pressing the fast slow button adjusts the time weighting. The corresponding setting displays on the LCD. Fast, this range simulates the human ear response and slow. Slow frequency weighting makes it more straightforward to get an indication of the average noise level in an environment where it's constantly changing. Next is data hold. At any time during a measurement, press the hold button to freeze the current reading on the LCD. The measured value along with hold will remain on the display. To end hold mode and resume taking measurements, press hold a second time. Next we'll go over minimum and maximum data record. The data record function records the maximum and minimum readings. Press the REC button to begin recording maximum and minimum data. If you have not yet set the time on your device, you will receive this warning on the display. It's not necessary for minimum and maximum recordings, but it is for data logging. We'll demonstrate how to set the time up later when we demonstrate how to log data to the SD card. When recording maximum and minimum data, REC will display on the top of the LCD. When REC is on the display, press the REC button one time. REC max appears on the display along with the maximum recorded value. Pressing REC a second time shows REC min and the minimum recorded value. To delete the current maximum or minimum value, navigate to the relevant screen and press the hold key. The device will continue the record function and start saving new maximum and minimum values. To exit maximum and minimum record mode, press and hold REC for around 2 seconds. REC will disappear from the LCD. The last basic function to cover is the LCD backlight. Press the power key briefly at any time to switch the backlight on or off. First install your SD card into the base of the sound level meter. The front of the SD card should face downwards. Press and hold the set key to enter into the data logger settings. The first option is to set the date and time. Press the enter button one time. The date appears on the top of the LCD. The value to be adjusted will blink. This is in year, month, day format. Use the up and down arrows to input the year, then press next or enter. Use the arrows to adjust the month, then press next or enter. Repeat the same to adjust the day, then press enter to confirm. Next, adjust the time. As with the date, use the arrow keys to adjust the hour, then press next or enter. Adjust the minute. Press next, then adjust the second. Press enter to confirm. After pressing enter, the screen will move on to the next setup option. This is SD card decimal character setup. You can choose a decimal display between basic, this is a dot point, or euro, this is a comma. Use 
the up and down arrows to make your selection, then press enter to confirm. The next setup option is the management of automatic power off. Use the up and down arrow keys to enable, which is yes, or disable, which is no automatic power off. If enabled, the device automatically switches off after around 10 minutes to save battery life. Press enter to confirm your selection. The next option is to enable or disable the key beep. Use the up and down arrow keys to switch on, which is yes, or switch off, which is no. Press enter to confirm your selection. The second last setup option is SP-T. This is set sampling time selection. Use the up and down arrows to choose your automatic sound level sampling time. The zero setting is for manual data logging. We'll cover how to set this up later in the video. Press enter to confirm. The last setup option is SD-F, which is SD memory card format. If it is your first time using this card in the meter, you should format the SD card. Note, this deletes the existing data off the card, so be sure to save any important data first. To format the card, use the arrow keys to select yes, then press enter. ENT will flash on the bottom of the screen. Press enter again to confirm card reformatting. Data will be cleared from the card. The device is now ready to log data to the SD card. Once you've chosen your time and frequency weightings, along with your sample rate, you can begin automatic logging to the SD card. To do this, press the REC button. The LCD will show REC. Then press the logger button. REC and logger will begin to flash, indicating the data is being saved to the memory card. If you need to pause data collection at any time, press the logger button. Logger will disappear from the LCD and REC will stop flashing. To resume data logging, simply press logger again. To finish data logging, press logger and then press and hold the REC button for two seconds. Both logger and REC will no longer appear on the LCD. You can now push to eject the SD card from the base of the logger and insert it into your PC. On your computer, open the SD card, open the most recent file on the SD card, then open the Excel file. And just like that, all of your collected sound level information is available, sorted by the number, date, time, value, and measuring unit. Manual data logging allows you to save one sample at a time. Within manual mode, you can also choose to set the measuring position. This is a value from one to 99, which you can later use to identify a measurement location. This is handy when measuring multiple rooms or for comparison studies. To manually log data, you must first return to the device setup and adjust the sampling time. Press and hold set. Press next to navigate to the sample adjustment setting, that is SP-T. Use the up and down arrows to adjust this to zero. Press enter to save. Then press escape to return to measurement mode. To enter data logging, press the REC button. REC will appear on the top of the LCD, along with the current position location number on the bottom. To take a manual reading, press logger. Logger appears briefly on the screen as the reading saves. Each press of the logger button manually saves a measurement. To adjust the position location number, press the set key. Then use the up and down arrows to adjust the position number. We'll change it to position two and take a few more manual measurements. Press enter to confirm your selection. To stop manual logging, press the REC button continuously for two seconds until REC disappears. As with automatic data logging, you can now push to eject the SD card from the base of the logger and insert it into your PC. On your computer, open the SD card, open the most recent file on the SD card, then open the Excel file. This time we can see our place numbers with two measurements in place one and four in place two, along with the date, time, recorded value, and the unit. And that's how to set up and use the IC SL4033 SD Type 1 Sound Level Meter and Data Logger. For more information, contact an instrument choice scientist. 
call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.